This video is going to talk about the difference quotient. We've learned about the average rate of change, and we've learned that formula when we want to use any given two points. But we want to make it more broad, okay? And we want to find a formula so that we can use it over and over again. No matter what two points, I can plug it into this formula, and I'll always be able to find what my average rate of change is, or the difference quotient. So we're just going to take the average rate rate of change and substitute um, the function notation and that should to get we get a given function I don't even know what this is that's something ugly um, f of x and a constant h which can't be zero then we have f of x plus h that's function notation so we'll have to plug in something for that minus and I want to write it like this so that you will write it like that when you're working with it minus the f function all divided by that h so let's see what we can do with this. Compute the difference quotient. So well, first we need to know what p of x plus h is because we already know what p of x is. So we have wherever we see x we're going to put x plus h. So x plus h quantity squared minus 2. And that's equivalent to when you square this, you square the first one, then twice the product, so 2xh, and then plus the last term squared which is h squared minus 2. So that's our p of x plus h. So now we're going to do the difference quotient here. So we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2. That's my f of x plus h. And then minus my p of x, or that's p of x plus h, my fault. p of x plus h minus my p of x, which is x squared minus 2. And it's all over h. So three different pieces here. Remember, this is the part that everybody forgets. You have to distribute the negative. I can't say that enough times. So let's compute. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2. Then when I distribute, it becomes minus x squared. And when I distribute, it becomes plus 2 all over h. So let's simplify. x squared and negative x squared cancel each other out. And I have a 2xh and no other 2xh's, so I need that one. And I have an h squared, but no other h's, so plus h squared. And then negative 2 and positive 2 cancel each other out. So I really just have 2xh plus h squared over h. I still have to simplify. So when I simplify, I'm going to factor. So I have a common factor of h between in these two. And that leaves me with 2x, because the h is on the outside, plus a factor of h on the inside because one's on the outside, and then that's all over h. Finally, to get my final simplification here, the h's cancel, and our difference quotient is 2x plus h. Lots simpler than what we started out with, right? One thing I want to point out to you here is that notice that my, my f of x really kind of, or p of x in this case, really canceled out. My x squared cancels with the x squared of my p of x plus h. My 2 cancels with the negative 2 of my p of x plus h because we're subtracting the x and when you multiply this x plus h you still have that x part being um, applied in there so we, that's why you always your f of x should always cancel out completely and you'll be left with your h term let's keep going so j of x find the difference quotient okay j of x plus h now i gotta put it in more than once x plus h is going to be squared minus six times x plus h and that's going to be equal to this is always x squared plus 2x h plus h squared minus and and then I distribute, so 6x and minus 6h. Got to watch your signs. Okay, so that's what this is. And I'm going to put parentheses around that and just go ahead and work right here with that. So I have to subtract my original function, x squared minus 6x. And all of that is over h. So I kept that in purple and changed the color of everything else so that you could see that this was equivalent to that, but then I put it in my difference quotient all at the same time. So let's start simplifying. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 6x minus 6h minus x squared when I distribute and minus or plus 6x when I distribute all over h. So let's go simplifying x squared and negative x squared cancel and negative 6x and positive 6x cancel and I'm left with 2xh plus h squared minus 6h all over h. Notice they all have h terms and that's really nice because then we can factor the h out. We have 2x plus h minus 6 all over h 
There's, I factored that H, I factored one of those, and I factored that H out. The H's are gone, and we have 2X plus H minus 6 as our difference quotient. Okay, so now that we're figuring out what that difference quotient is, how to figure that out, this is the function that we had before. So let's go back because I forget. So the difference quotient is 2X plus H minus 6. Difference quotient. All right. So when we do the difference quotient here, we have to figure out what x is and we have to figure out what h is. Well, x is going to be the first value. Let's just put my x over there. Now I have to figure out what h is. This is not h. h is equal to the 2.0 minus the x value or 2.0 minus 1.9. So h is going to be equal to 0.1. So now I know what h is and I know what x is, and I know what my difference quotient is, so let's plug and chug. 2 times my x, which is 1.9, plus my h, which is 0.1, and then minus 6, and when I multiply all that out and add it all together, I get negative 2.1. So the difference, the average rate of change, basically, between the, these x's would be negative 2.1. That's what that's really saying. Well, we can use the same thing, but try these two points. So again, we had 2x minus h plus 6, no, plus h minus 6. That was our difference quotient. And we want to say that this thing here is x. And remember that we have h is equal to the 5.01, the second value, minus the x value, which was 5. So we're just going to have 0.01. So plugging and chugging, we have 2 times our x, which is 5. And then we have plus our h, which is 0 0.01. And then minus our 6. 10 plus 0 0.01 minus 6 is going to give us 4.01.